Hello there lovely people, good afternoon from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today I'll be doing one video for you. That's gonna be House of Parfum de Marley. And the fragrance, I think it's called Greenly or Greenlay. I think Greenly. Okay, let's just call it Greenly. Beautiful little bottle here. Um, I recently received it, so it's gonna be an initial impression. But today, uh, for the last few days, I'm not quite 100%. A little bit of, uh, you know, like a headache and, uh, you know, um, it's very hot and humid in Bangladesh, right? So I didn't appear in the camera, uh, but I'm not really looking <laughs> all fresh, right? But anyway, uh, let's do our initial impression. So let me tell you the story of this perfume before I start. I think this was release of 2020. I was very interested to try it. Recent times, I think one of our pages brought an official sample, but someone else bought it before I grabbed it. I didn't want to blind buy this. These are like $200 around tester pricing in Bangladesh, so it's not cheap. But in the inter international market, these are $350 around that price range for 120 mil. So Parfum de Marley, it's one of my favorite house and hardly they disappoint. And uh, my observation from this house was mostly they used to uh, make more sweet, dark, heavier perfumes, spicy, some Middle Eastern exclusives. But uh, I think recent times they started doing something different. You know, there was a fragrance called Galloway at the older collection, the white bottle. Then I had uh, Sedley, give me a second. Yeah, sorry about that. The phone was like, uh, like making sounds. Anyway, so I was saying that, you know, they had Galloway, which was a white uh, bottle, kind of like a peppery, fresh uh, fragrance, very long lasting. But I had Sedley, Sedley, <laughs> Sedley, Sedley, I sold it off because, you know, you have to be practical and you cannot keep all the bottles. I have a page. I'll just be honest with you what i do here i i do multiple things with the fragrance i do review it i use it i decant it and if let's say the page it's not really selling well some of the fragrance i let go especially if they're expensive ones sedley was a very nice perfume the same line i think it was a blue bottle transparent bottle very beautiful they had few other ones called darley uh, that is similar to lamal or reflection man uh, they came in a transparent bottle so they have a lot of bottles so this fragrance I was very interested to try because, uh, again, our Sanfor community members like Rahul Sharma Bhai, this praise, like praise this fragrance so much. And in the community, this has quite hype, right? So I, I fell for the hype, obviously. I blind bought it I, since I couldn't get the sample. So first of all, I don't have a box. I do. I, I threw it away. Tester box are nothing pretty. But this is the bottle. Th thankfully, they come with a cap, Parfum de Marley's. Take a look at that bottle. It's a very heavy bottle, just a typical of Parfum de Marley, the two horses, their signature. Bottom, you get your uh, sticker, and this is the cap, which is very heavy. If you uh, kind of measure the cap and the bottle weight, I think the cap would be like one third of the bottle or almost half the weight of the bottle. So heavy. Let me show you. Sorry, I'm holding the mic so you can hear better. This is all metal, by the way. If you've never seen a Parfum de Marly one, this is very heavy. I don't know how much that weighs. And the sprayer on these are very, very good. Okay. So I did the spray just to show you the sprayer, but I already have it pre-sprayed on my skin. Uh, on my hand so basically the notes breakdowns uh, notes breakdown are uh, green apple uh, calabrian bergamo mandarin orange uh, according to fragrantica middle notes are petit grain um cashmere uh, i don't know what the next one is poma rose i don't know what that is some sort of molecule uh, cedar and violet okay and base notes are oak moss musk and amber wood so when you see that nose breakdown obviously many other reviewers reviewed it in the on the channel so it's not a brand new fragrance review but i'll give you what i get in our weather condition and one what i get on my skin so many reviewers would tell you this is a fresh green apple scent okay so if you like the note of green apple you can get green apple in many fruity perfumes like body shop mostly i used to get this green apple fragrances and they're like you know bubble bath you know you get that fresh smell from the shampoo this one people say as a shampoo sort of accord which has apple green apple note so think of like uh, head and shoulders perhaps you know had a green uh, apple kind of smell but uh, some people say they did not get that it's like a synthetic um, sweet fruity citrusy uh, designer like uh, fragrance so i'll tell you one thing this definitely has that uh, designer appeal what i mean by that is it a bad thing no you're definitely gonna appreciate the fact if a niche fragrance is played safe and it's like a, you know uh, crowd favorite that is a good thing you know some of the niche fragrances they are built in such a way that it's a love it or hate it this fragrance i think it's mostly love it uh, it can be a little bit hate uh, if you are uh, feeling like this is a bit synthetic and a bit more mainstream designer perfume which you're paying a lot of money for in that way it can be you know like a negative point for you okay i'll just admit it okay it definitely has a designer mainstream vibe it's very simple very easy to wear fragrance okay very easy when you spray this man the fragrance opening is just so lovely i sprayed it on my hand a while back 
Yeah, I mean, the opening is that citrus, that, you know, that bergamo and the, the mandarin orange, not so much. I get the combination of the green apple and citrus lemon mostly. And it's like candied lemon. It's a sweet lemon. Um, you think of like a Casamorati line. I think there's a fragrance, Fiero, that has a lemon. This one, I feel they have the same green uh, lemon property. Very nice, very uplifting, perfect for summer and spring. And these are the unisex, right? So anybody can wear this, no problem. Application wise, you can go four to five sprays. You can even optimize by going seven. That will last a very long time. Some people get, um, uh, let's say, not spotty longevity, but not as beast mode as the darker ones. So always remember one thing. Uh, fresh fragrance are not, I, I repeat, not supposed to do the same thing as your dark fragrances. Dark fragrance have incense, oud, you know, tobacco, ash, uh, uh, those kind of notes, oud. Uh, leather, those kind of things, the boozy notes, they are supposed to be longer lasting by right. In high heat and humidity, fragrance usually do not uh, last. If you see uh, more ozonic fragrances, they disappear like quite quickly. This one on my shirt and skin combined, I got six to seven hours. Okay. Uh, the projection is about really good for one hour, <clears throat> not more than one hour. It doesn't really radiate so much from your skin, but I don't mind because I can detect it if I have it both shoulders on my neck. But it's a light one, okay? So even compared to Sedley, Sedley projects and lasts longer than this, okay? So long during projection, it's not quite a beast, but, uh, you know, perfume de Marley quality will not disappoint you. So think of it like it's a green apple scent. It's a fresh fragrance. It's a green citrusy perfume. It reminds me a lot of Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Women, okay? Some people compare this with 24 Gold. Uh, what is that called? Uh, the blue bottle, basically. I forgot the name. Aqua or the blue one. I forgot. So 24 gold ice, yeah, that fragrance. I definitely can see similarity, okay? Not there, sorry. It reminds me of some other fragrances. I told you the Body Shop Green Apple. You think of a little bit of green apple uh, smell, okay? Shampoo-wise, I don't know, you know? It definitely has a, you know, those uh, kids' shampoos, you know, like baby shampoos. They have, like, ca cartoon characters on them, like... Um, what, what, I don't remember the brand, but they have, like, a zebra or, like, a giraffe or some other you know animals you know and sometimes toothbrush you know it reminds me of those baby product smells you know so it's very pleasant but it's not the most natural fragrance uh, let's say you do not get like a raw uh, green apple okay like you get a raw mango in some fragrance like hermes which is very earthy this is not that it's plate safe every single thing about this fragrance is polished just done a little bit better than designer fresh perfumes okay so what are you paying for first of all you're paying for the brand name Second thing you're paying for the bottle, okay? These bottles are not cheap. Uh, very beautiful bottle. I just let, let me just show you the beauty of it. It's just so stunning. And the thing is, uh, third thing you're paying for is the performance, once again, is very, very good. But think of it as a fresh perfume. So the, mostly the quality of the fragrance. So it's a designer-like, mainstream-like fragrance. After that, you get the citruses go off a little bit. I think a uh, little bit of cedar, you know? Think of the way Bulgari Tiger is made. This is made the same way. But Tiger is a lot more full body tiger is a beast okay this one is not quite a beast like tiger then they have oak moss written you know i don't get that a little bit of violet leaves perhaps yes but it's a nice little scent i don't know why this fragrance if you ask me it reminds me of aventus cologne okay uh, it's not the same obviously perhaps the green apple aspect of aventus you know i get that vibe and the fresh clean vibe also i get a little bit like let's see if you like office for man dior sauvage this basically belongs to the same family but it has uh, notes of uh, Quite a few notes you know like that are common in other fragrances so you can definitely give it a try must sample before you buy because you may be disappointed paying a lot of money for this and then you'll be like oh this is such a simple scent i'm telling you this is a simple scent and it's for you to try this is not a must buy if you ask me like if you have a lot of fresh fragrances if you have fragrance like dkny you know like uh, donna karen fragrance like uh, those green apple based ones you know be delicious uh, those are a bit more uh, raw apple, right? This is more sweet, candied, citrus apple scent. So basically, the transformation is not so much. I don't get that much oak moss from it, not just yet. But basically, I get the citrus opening, green, um, herbal, fresh. No, I don't even get that herbal vibe. It just tastes citrusy, green apple, and uh, musky and cedar. I think that's, that's basically what I get from it. And uh, it's a fragrance for daytime. Uh, summer and spring okay casual usage uh, it's a fun fragrance you know go and meet your friends so negatives uh, price is very high on perfume de marley second negative is the longevity is not as good as let's say something like galloway galloway lasts longer than this 
the other thing I would say, if you wear this in winter time, perhaps you will not get much out of it. So it's not that versatile. But summertime is very good versatile scent. You can go ab absolutely everywhere, and you can just spray a lot more. You know, you can just respray. You will not choke, and no one is going to complain. So I think the compliment factors on this is going to be very very high. Strong points. The smell is just beautiful, fresh, simple. Um, uh, it's a little bit high-end designer like and better than some designer fragrances but you know the debate is always there is if you should pay that extra hundred dollars for a fragrance of this quality but it comes to personal choice i really like it uh how much would i rate it i like this over sedley you know i said it yesterday in my page despite that performance is not my uh, strong point of this perfume but uh, i would say this is the best smelling perfume de marley fresh fragrance for summer and spring okay so there you go figure it until they release another one perhaps there's already one out but they will be releasing a lot more of this i can tell you and they did this last thing last point they did this for a reason they did this because these fragrances they need to reach out to the warmer countries you know they cannot simply have herod you know or ojan okay or something like this you know like carlisle those are good for winters heavy uh, snowfall but you know to reach asian market to reach where there's warmth sun is out sunny days uh, heat and humidity this fragrance is perfect if let's say you go to a uh, holiday you know where there's like a lot of water activities there's like you're gonna be swimming you know there's a good swimming pool scent <coughs> it sounds weird but true and uh, if there's like a nice fountain or stream coming down and you're just cooling down the hole you know like in a hot day this smells like a perfect combo if you go uh, for holiday and it's like a lot of palm trees a lot of coconut around you'll really enjoy this scent it's a very nice holiday scent for me you know uh, if you wear for work people will definitely give you compliments okay so nice little perfume uh, perfume de marley greenly i really love this bottle 10 for the bottle overall scent wise i'll give this like a nine out of ten Longevity and projection, think of it like if you have to make it a chart, 7.5 to 8, depends, okay? But I would say 7.5 is perfect and uh, anybody can wear it, any place. Uh, overall, this fragrance, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10, okay? Uh, this is better than, I think, the Sedley one. Sedley one, it's sort of like opening is could be a bit challenging, you know, the blue one. It was nice. I really liked it a lot, but uh, some of the dried ones a bit mature, you know? It's like it had kind of like a weird smell to it, which I like, but not... I couldn't recommend it to everybody. This one, I would say, if you blind bought it by accident or you got it as a gift, you'll not hate it, right? So 9 out of 10 for Green Leaf Oil, Bari Parfum de Marley. Thank you for watching. And uh, in future, I'll do a full-on review after wearing throughout the summer. Have a nice day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.